I wanted to update you to um, what's going on since I started healing my own osteoarthritis. So I'm completely off any med medication now, I don't have anything, which I'm really happy about because when I look back at some of my videos that I've made, I'm really shocked at how slurred my voice is. And even though I thought, you know, maybe the effect of the tablets was probably gone by the time I made the video, they're not, they're clearly not. I look, look at the videos and just think, oh my God, I can hear the medication. I can see it in my face. So I didn't like that, but I'm off all medication. My diet is going absolutely brilliantly. I found that the very, very high water fruit diet is the fastest healing diet that you can put into your body and it doesn't it's not something that just takes ages and ages for you to see the results it's so fast and because um, from my own studies and regardless of any doctors now and I just don't listen to what anyone says I listen to myself and what my body says and I would advise people to do that themselves too for me, having the very high water content fruits has meant that my blood has become very nutrient rich and I feel like that is healing the cartilage or repairing or rebuilding. I feel it. I feel like that's happening. The pain has reduced massively and it's just got to the point where I've started to feel normal again. And so what I did was I didn't go and, and do some great big exercise routine but quite recently I, I just did a really long six mile walk which is long considering that a while ago I couldn't get to the second aisle of a supermarket without being crippled and you know just so much pain but now I've just completed a, just a six mile hike. When it got to about the fifth mile, I started to feel the nagging, which is a, such a reminder of what's going on. And the fibromyalgia was there on its shoulder, like, hmm, you know, keep it up and we're back. So I was aware of that nagging at, the, at, at that five mile mark and just thought, okay, respect my pain. The pain is to be bowed down to. And what I think I was doing before was when the pain was coming on, I was trying to like say, no, I'm fit. I'm going to run this to death. I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm not having the pain. I will break the pain barrier. Stupidly just punishing myself. So the most beneficial tool out of everything I had was the um, LED light therapy device. This. So this is something that I refer back to all of the time because I sometimes don't use it for ages and then I get like a little nagging like I did um, after that walk and then I would use this to help me if there's any inflammation. I didn't really like continue to use the TENS machine because um, I don't know, it's just a bit freaky using one of those things. It was just like getting well it's just weird it's a weird thing to use I mean it probably does work but it, I, I just haven't found myself turning to it very much and um, the massage is still a nice thing to have and I have I have been and had a couple of Thai massages but my, the most important thing I want to stress in this video is that the pain has reduced massively and this is without any help from any medications. So all I can put it down to is the really, really high fruit, high water fruit, so very low fat um, fruit diet. Lots of water, which to be honest, the more high water fruits I drink, the less thirsty I am because I just feel like it's so full of water. Um, good quality sleep, good sleeping schedule and also 
what has been really, really, really the most important thing of all is to be aware of everything my body says. So if it says this is painful, I want you to stop doing this, I stop it immediately. And then I'm finding that my body is just giving me gradually more and more and more and more. But to say that the pain has reduced so much in three months, I just can't believe it. I'm just so excited. And finding, addressing the osteoarthritis in such a direct way, I just feel like the fibromyalgia just kind of like went it was almost as though the fibromyalgia was there to demand my focus on the osteoarthritis. It was just like this this big shadow of the osteoarthritis. So now I'm tackling that, the fibromyalgia has just seemed to have happily disappeared back into the background. My only big, big concern is now that maybe when the winter comes, and the weather gets really, really cold and muscles are tighter, maybe I will have a flare-up. But at the moment, my flare-ups are happening like once, once every um, two weeks, something like that. So it's three months in, everything's going great. I'm really, really excited. Um, if you have a look here, this is the kind of thing that I'm having. This is a this smoothie's got ripe bananas, raspberries, mango, and dates. So it's super sweet, super delicious, and really filling as well. You know, you don't have to think that if you if you're on a high fruit diet. Um, that you're going to be starving, you know, you can really fill up on this, on, you know, especially when you have smoothies like that. So I'm excited and I feel that, you know, listening to doctors all of the time, you have to remember that they have very, very little nutritional experience and they not, they have not been trained to treat ailments with food. They've been trained to treat the symptom of an illness because they're not treating the illness because they they didn't cause the illness so they're treating a symptom of the illness so you know they don't know everything and sometimes we go there and we believe everything that they say and they say you can't build cartilage you can't cure osteoarthritis you cannot cure fibromyalgia well you know you don't have to believe that. And also the mental aspect of being a victim, letting yourself bow down to that pain that I'm going to be in pain for the rest of my life. Tell yourself you are going to beat this, you're going to cure it. And you're going to do that by being your own inner doctor. So I'm happy, I'm very, very happy. I would like to post myself up on YouTube in time to come, you know, doing a really, really physical thing like running a, a marathon or something like that. And just to see just how far I can go and how, how well I can make myself. So have a lovely day. And if you are suffering with pain, I send you my love and my heart and look within yourself and just realize that I have nothing to, to sell you or I, I don't want anything from you. So I'm only sharing this experience because I want you to be well. And if, if it's not something that works for you as well, it's okay. I, you know, it's just to share something that, that is working and hopefully might help somebody. That's all that I want from this. So take care. Bye-bye.